guys. So I have something really, really fun I want to share with you guys. Haven't really done it in a long time, but we enjoy doing it because it's fun and it's free and it gets you outside. So you go to this website, www.geocaching.com. I'll leave the link below and you create an account. We have an account. It is called The Limbs. There are geocaches all over the entire world. There are probably some geocaches right down the street for you, from you and you don't even know it. And, so, and then there's probably geocaches on top of the Mount Everest too. Oh yes, look at this. This is a map of the world. All those green dots are geocaches, right? And when I start zooming up to America, you see um, like America is covered in green dots. Look at that. But we're gonna find a geocache and we're here. Where are we, Bebe? We're at an auto parts store and I pulled up this geocache that was right next to us and when you do it, it'll give you coordinates right here, GPS coordinates that you put into your phone. It'll pin it so the red dot is where the geocache is. That's really all you get. Sometimes they give you little hidden clues to help you but other than that, it's just a treasure hunt and you're trying to find something. A lot of times you have no idea what you're looking for. Um, some of them can be really small like a film canister and there'll be a tiny log in it and you go and you open the log and you put your name. Some of them will be huge like five gallon paint tubs with yeah, all we, kinds we, we've, of- Yeah, we found geocaches that were like a big container and it's got all kinds of things in it. Yeah. Like, like all kinds of toys and some of them are like, you know, you take, trade. You... take one and add one, you know, kind yeah. of deal. So it's really exciting. It's kind of like pinged over here somewhere, you guys. Yeah. Gotta like always like look in the trees. Sometimes they put it in crevices there. Watch where you're stepping, Selena. But the hint was a hide a key. The thing is, you guys, you have no idea what you're looking for. I see, I see it. All right, so like it's pinned. It's pinned right here. So this is the awkwardness of geocaching. Looking and like you gotta some, watch out for muggles. People driving by are gonna be like, hey, what, are, what is she doing? Yeah. All right, Ray decided to come out and take take a try at the hunt. Yeah. So like, we're not professionals at this, so oh it's, my God, I've seen the red it's a little red hard red. for us. Another thing to look, like think about when you do these is look at the log, because when you find it, you, you're supposed to log it in there and say you found it. So it's like a timestamp. Um, this one hasn't been found since like, it's been about a month. So, and then before that, the person couldn't find it. So, you know, any luck, Bebe? I feel like it's right under our nose, dude. I mean, really, it is. It always is right under your nose. Ray's over here climbing the wall, hunting and searching. It's like you don't want to give up when you do these things. Like, it's just the, the thrill of the hunt, you know? Just to be like, ah, I found it. And like, if you don't find it, it really messes with you and you keep coming back until you find it. Dang, you guys, we could not find it. Such a bummer. We're gonna go see if we can find one behind the Best Buy. We will see. Even if you don't find it, you still should log that you didn't find it. So that way, people know when the last time someone was looking for it. All right, so here's the Best Buy building and we're coming behind the building. Oh my God, you guys, I found it right here. This ant's all over it though. This is it. It was under, this rock was right over it, in there. Oh my god, I gotta go show Ray that I found it. So, there's the, there it is. Alright, there it is. 43017, the limbs. I had to take up so many lines because Selena wrote her little name in yellow. So we closed it up and we're gonna go put it back where we found it now. A lot of times these geocaches take you to places you would have never thought of going to. Look at how beautiful these trees are. I love trees, you guys. <sighs> Got it closed up nice and tight. Stick it right back there. And oh yeah, there are ants all over this thing. And right back over it, just like that. Ready for the next person. I hope that you can go out with your family and try this. It is so fun. Alright, bye guys. <laughs>